Hi everyone. Welcome to this session which is going to be an introductory session on literary criticism which is your um special paper for uh, 40 YBA and I am Dr. Shayunti Talwar. I will be your uh, teacher who will uh, who is going to engage with you for this paper. So the title of your paper is Introduction to Literary Criticism. Uh, we believe that as students of special English, since your specialization is in English, uh, this is the right time to orientate you and to introduce you to criticism, which is an indispensable part of English literature, as uh, you're going to be, um, you're going to have to uh, use critical approaches um, if, if you are looking at a career in English literature. And even if you're not, then to having a critical approach or having an awareness of criticism is extremely important for a student of literature. So what are the objectives of this paper? Uh, the first objective is to introduce students to the basics of literary criticism. So what we are planning is what the paper intends to do is just to give you a very basic awareness of the theories, the functions, the approaches and the objectives of literary criticism to, to prepare your foundation in literary criticism. Then uh, the second objective is to make you aware of the nature and historical development of criticism. So tracing how criticism evolved as a discipline through the ages, the changes it underwent, the different alternating traditions of criticism and how uh, it basically functions today and its relevance today. Uh, the third objective is to make students familiar with significant critical approaches and terms. So there are different critical approaches because different uh, there are different schools of criticism. And since criticism is a specialized area, it is a specialized discipline, obviously uh, the terms and the terminology that is used for this discipline are uh, not words that are used in our um, regular that we use in our regular conversation or in our day-to-day -day, uh, language so these are very specific terms and terminology which the student needs to be familiarized with the fourth objective is to encourage students to interpret literary works in the light of the critical approaches so primarily our objective over here is to uh, enable you to apply whatever you have, uh, whatever theoretical input we have given you to be able to apply those approaches, to have those critical perspectives when you uh, take up texts, when you take up poems, etc. Right. And finally, the fifth objective is to is for students to develop an aptitude for critical analysis, right? So again, this uh, is kind of, uh, it's an extension of the fourth objective. Uh, so when students start applying critical approaches, they will obviously develop a knack for a critical perspective. Um, they will develop a knack of evaluating and assessing texts. So this is what your paper focuses on.